Hi there, welcome to this iOS 7 programming tutorial. Today we're going to cover another very interesting topic and it's going to be how to make tab based apps. And examples of these of these applications for your i your music player in your iPhone, things like that that have multiple tabs in the lower half of the screen. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, open Xcode. Mm. So for that, file new project. Here you could create a tab application. However, we're gonna cover how to do it manually because it requires some certain skills that are gonna be very useful. So let's go ahead and click next. We're gonna name it tab example. Alright, first thing we need to do is that we want to change this name over here to something more more descriptive. So go ahead, click on the H file, double click on this to select tab example view controller and renaming is not as easy as just selecting this and putting in different words. You're gonna have to go to edit refactor, rename, and we're gonna name it the simple first view controller hit preview Just go ahead and click save it's gonna ask you if you like to have a snapshot in, c in case you screw up so just enable it and you can see how it changes the names automatically. Now, let's create the second view. Remember, in order to do that, yes, control click here, new file. It's gonna be a class. Tab example second view controller. So class is UI view controller. Next, let's create it there. All right. Now go to the storyboard, we're gonna select this first view controller and we have to transform it into a tab bar controller. So I'll go to oh let's first change it, editor, embed in tab bar controller. See how I created a tab bar controller? This is called a root controller. It doesn't have anything on it. You, you uh, users are not able to see it, but it's basically what's behind all the all the sex. Uh, it's what controls the different views. Uh, all right. Now that we have this, let's go ahead and add a second view. Shrink this a bit because I can't see anything. Move it over here. And let's have a second view controller here. We're going to change the class name. Let's go to Attributes Inspector. Whoops, sorry for that. Go to the. Oh, sorry, it's not selected. Attributes Inspector. Tab example. Second view controller. That's a good. Yep. And now, in order to link the root, the tab bar controller with the second view, just control click here and drag to here. You're gonna select view controller relationship seg view controller. Notice how it created a new tab in here automatically. Uh, it's a good idea to just put a label so we're able to differentiate when we're in the first view or second view. So just go ahead and do that. We have to zoom in. I'm name it first view, first tab view. Center it. Uh, 
same for the second one just name it second tab view I'll center it again just make sure they're in the same height 160, 158 we actually got them right first rate, that's impressive <laughs> lucky guess uh, notice how both squares in here just say item well, let's make something cooler, so you just double click on them say first tap and second tap you can also change the images but however in order to do that you're gonna have to go here to the attributes inspector and you're gonna have to select an image see we don't have anything so you're gonna have to find some for yourself I personally recommend going to Google and just Googling iOS 7 tab images there's a lot of them that are for free it's just often it's just a folder that's gonna have like 50 or 100 tab images so once you have one of those the way you use them yes open them up here let's say we're going to use this one over here so yes click and drag it to your supporting files so finish and let's just just work too I do not own these images so uh, that's why I'm not gonna post them in the video description let's make this bigger again now we have them there just go here attributes inspector and say book 7 the PNG just click enter see how it automatically changed and same here we're gonna select book mark 7 there we go now this should be ready to go so just build it and run it first tab view now we can click here second tab view see very easy but it's also really nice when you have like a small app where you're only gonna have four views this is a really easy way to connect them all and it also looks very good so that's gonna be it for this tutorial thank you very much for watching uh, don't forget to like if you actually like the video and if you don't then I guess don't uh, see you next tutorial